Come di Tinom Chakaire, Deputy Secretary for Youth Affairs, Come John Paraza. Members of the Politburo and the ministers who may be here. Members of the Zan PF Youth League and the youth associations and affiliate organizations who are here, comrades and friends. It is my honor and privilege to address this assembly of the Youth League and its affiliates being held under the theme Re-Energizing the Zambia Vanguard for a 2023 landslide victory, which is certain. The only of this meeting is significant as it is the first since the seventh national conference of the youth aid and the subsequent seventh people's national congress among other critical national events that have taken place. I commend you for gathering at this constitutional meeting of the League to energize and galvanize the Youth League and its affiliate groups as the vanguard of the People's Revolution and Mass Party Zanpf. I challenge you, comrades, to use this meeting as a launch pad towards popularizing and consolidating the dominancy of the party among the youth the generation across villages, walls, districts, and provinces of our motherland, Zimbabwe. In line with your theme, our immediate focus is keeping the grassroots organized as well as mobilized towards the Thangras Zanpia victory in the upcoming 2023 Amunai election. In doing so, patriotism, loyalty, discipline, and most importantly, servant leadership must remain core traits of our party and our youth. As the young people of our party and the country, we have a weighty obligation of steering the modernization, industrialization, and the growth of our beloved motherland Zimbabwe and accelerating the attainment of Vision 2030 that brings about prosperity to every single person in our country. Our present national development trajectory needs patriotic young people. We have clarity of their generational mission. Clarity of vision, clarity of loyalty and patriotism, clarity of identity, clarity of respect for your elders. Yours is a mission to consolidate the gains of a hard-won independence, freedom and democracy, as well as the ongoing socio-economic progress under the Zan Key philosophy, Nika, Inovapa, Iko Tumba, Nevenevai. 
Your brothers and sisters have gone before you, sacrificed their lives and limbs for us today to enjoy this freedom. What do you repay them with except your patriotism, your loyalty, your commitment to develop your motherland, Zimbabwe? Brick by brick, stone upon stone, step by step, let us build our country, our motherland, Zimbabwe. Ourselves, nobody else but ourselves, shall build our motherland. I thus call upon you to do more to save God our sovereignty, our security, and development interests while robustly opposing all attempts to undermine our national unity and the social harmony and stability. When we have problems in Christian DRC, when we have problems in Cap Delgado, we have problems in Sudan, Europe sleeps. So when there are problems in Ukraine, Africa must sleep. We are not going to lose our sleep because Europe is on fire. Because they sleep when we are fired on country. We must raise our political consciousness to be aware of the machinations of our detractors. And our detractors are not our own people. They are those from outside who want to access our resources and they divide us. But if we are patriotic about our country, we shall stand together and you know detractors will divide us. We are aware that these detractors are supported by local malcontents. It is expected. We shall not allow the local malcontents in our country, I mean, it's us, to celebrate in our land. Our visionary leadership, our patriotism, our commitment to our land should be celebrated by those who are patriotic about their country, not by malcontents. Let them, let them save their masters, not we are aware of the desperate collusions by the enemies of our beloved motherland and their nefarious attempts to discredit our forthcoming harmonized general elections. They will not succeed because we are united. Also, as it is clear that victory is imminent for the people of Zimbabwe through our revolutionary partisan PF, let us not allow ourselves to be divided. We should not accept the 30 pieces of silver. We should not accept the 30 pieces of silver. If it means you must sleep hungry because of patriotic do so. There's dignity in your patriotism. Going forward, you are called upon to occupy the online platforms to social media. Kabainabo, Barakashi, social media. And tell them what Zanpiyev stands for and the numerous successes of the Second Republic which are there to see everybody. Comrades, I'm pleased that many of you participated in the party's 
recently concluded internal democratic processes, and you were successful to represent the party at both local authority and the House of Assembly levels. Congratulations, Makoro Koto, and power there. Meanwhile, however, I urge you to remain alive to the fact that in our colossal mass party, there are no losers and the winners. It is the party which ultimately wins during our internal democratic processes. The party and the people always come first. This is the discipline that must be exhibited by all card carrying members. You are therefore directed to close ranks to achieve the victory of the party. As you heard the Vice President was saying, in 1964, when you were at the Bell of Testicola then in at the Congress, we were told by the leaders then that we, the youth at the time, were the future leaders. We didn't believe. So when we tell you now that you are the future leaders, we don't disbelieve as we did. You are the future leaders in this country. But you can only be future leaders if you are disciplined, if you are organized, if you show respect and you are patriotic about your motherland and your country. We, as your leadership in general, we will continue to support and create a conducive environment for you to continuously improve your leadership abilities by talking to you and guiding you. Again, you can only guide those who are willing to be guided. I believe you are some of those who are willing to be guided and be tutored in Russia. Meanwhile, your appreciation and application of the party constitution, its ideology, its rules and regulations, Procedures should be sharpened in your understanding. That is how us in the ZANPF, the People's Party, save, generate, and grow. Failure is that as of our revolutionary mass party, who represent the aspirations of the people. We must hold the peace and unity as a simple sacrifice by shunning violence in all forms. But it does not mean that by shunning violence you are weak. No. Your strength is in the understanding of peace. Your strength is in the appreciation of unity. Your strength is in the appreciation of brotherhood and respect. However, peace can only be brought about because people realize war is bad. So let us cherish peace, maintain peace. Dream peace, walk peace, and teach peace wherever we are. Party campaigns and programs must therefore be conducted in a manner that ensures free, fair, and credible 2023 organized general elections. Our detractors would wish us not to have a peaceful election. We must shame them because we are the majority in this country. There is no place in this country where you say Zanke 
have in the person who don't know what you are talking about. Nada. Wherever you go, as the vice president says, on top of mountains, in rivers, in valleys, in caves, Zanikiev is found. We are a mammoth people's party, and we have an honest guarantee we must achieve conditions which guarantee us a legacy in the history. The annals of our history must be inscribed by the blood of our brothers and sisters. Talking about and recording peace, harmony, and unity and love in all our caves and mountains and hills where our brothers and sisters lie and say to us, our brothers and sisters, our brothers and sisters carry the burden. Let us
to reach out to as many youth cadres as possible from across all political parties, cultures, and backgrounds. But remembering that Nika Inova Igbo Kumba Ourselves, 
Comrades, capacity building and skills development, including national civic education, remain critical pillars for developing party cadre, a party cadre of today, tomorrow, and into the future. In view of the ongoing quest to modernize and rejuvenate the party in line with dictates of an ever-evolving national and international landscape, I challenge the Youth League to pursue robust training programs to nurture competent officials within your rank and file. Because we have stood steadfast. Takapua Zirango, 23 years now with the sanctions. But look at it, our economy is one now growing 3.8, one of the highest in the region. I'm a manager of the Fuman, I'm a member of the Fuman, and I'm a member of the Fuman. Charles. Because you know, when the Coca Cola. Gaza kwa Charles imumuna masangu kwa zaida visa wia inyuma. 
Because we have stood solid as a people. That's why we are getting respected, because we stand our ground. The League must value young people with talent, as well as have the foresight to engage, welcome, and retain them as part members. These must also be mobilized from both within the country and abroad. We do not want the syndrome Yoku Varirana. To date, your synergies and with the Herbert Temple School of Ideology and the Malim Julius Nyerere Leadership School in the United Republic of Tanzania, where most of our comrades go for leadership training is commendable. This will go a long way to equip you, the young people, to sharpen your perspectives for the defense and continuity of the people's revolution within the country, the region, and the continent as a whole. Over and above these programs, you must as a league, encourage a culture of intra-party dialogue by publicizing the activities of the Youth League as well as policies and programs of the party. We are a thriving democracy. We are a thriving democracy. Last election, 2018, we had 55 political parties. The Chidabo Kutonga, that we are in Dukwarakashi. We had 23 right president Dukwarakashi. As in this time around, we are in the Musarakashi. We Because our membership must remain unshaken by being appropriately equipped with requisite information to defend the party. Regular meetings such as this one at the Youth League must be held at district, branch, and village and cell levels to continuously sharpen the understanding of our people. And once again, call upon you individually and collectively to reject crime and corruption, as well as drug and substance abuse, among other antisocial behaviors. Nanzo Amjita's slogan, you could pass them to the very good, Atibi. The youth league, together with other wings of our party, must continue to mobilize the rank and file of our party membership to augment ongoing government's efforts to fight against these social ills. In conclusion, comrades and friends, I challenge you, the youth, to remain consistent and wholeheartedly serve the people of Zimbabwe and the party. We have had the journey we have walked in uh, 1962. No pataka enda. 
Il est zap. Resilience and commitment to the party, to your country. That is what we want from our people. Yes, we must go in various fields. Some must be farmers, some must be builders, some must be pilots, some must be soldiers, and so on. But we remain committed to our country, to our motherland, Zimbabwe. I call upon you to re-energize every member of the Youth League to take part in the defending the values and the ideology of our revolutionary partisan PF. Soon, I will be announcing the dates for the 2023 Amunas General Elections. I urge you to remain among the grassroots, keeping our membership mobilized and ready to vote for a colossal party. In addition, you must scale up voter education, especially among the youth, new voters. Every vote counts. The Youth League should ensure that ZAN PF registers a thunderous and resounding victory. We depend on you for this victory. Every polling station, every village, every ward, every province, right up the presidential level, we must register victims. At every single polling station, Zanpef Mingich, go win. It could be councillor, it could be MP, it could be president. Kungo win. Comrades, with these remarks, it is now my honor and privilege to declare this assembly of the youth and its affiliates officially open. I wish you fruitful deliberations. Jenny Messi is back home. I look forward to seeing a high turnout of young people as we visit your provinces in the near future.